Hi, and welcome back to another video in the TNL Tips video series, which focuses on brief tips that will hopefully be helpful to you as you're working on your Canvas class. So today, let's talk about how to approach your course navigation menu. This is the menu that appears on the left-hand side of your Canvas class, and it's something that your students see, it's something that you see, so it's, I think, really important to know what you're getting into in your Canvas class, and hopefully I can walk you through some of the options there, including how to hide some of the menu items in the navigation menu, such that maybe students aren't overwhelmed with a lot of information when they log on to your class. So let's jump onto Canvas and see how to approach the navigation menu. Okay, so let's jump right into the navigation menu. This is our navigation menu. This is what you and your students see when you log on to a class. Now, it's different what you see and what your students see. And this is our good first lesson here, is anything that has a gray eyeball with a slash through it means you can see it, but your students cannot. And if you hover over, you get that indication from Canvas. Now, the reason for that is the feeling of Canvas is, well, pages are really important. We don't wanna hide pages from you, or for that matter, any of the most important materials that you might need to work with. As a result, uh, we'll keep that in your menu, but if you click to student view, all of a sudden, all that is gone, right? So that's very deliberate. If you are wondering about the gray eyeball, it's really, I think, a great feature here to just indicate something that you need to access, but that's hidden from students. So what you might wanna do then is say, which of these tabs do I need on my home screen? Or my Canvas screen, it's not just the home screen, because really anytime you're logging on the Canvas, you have an option to use this menu. So what I'm going to do is click on settings to change any of these. So what we're doing here is anything that is here and above, all these items will appear in the, this menu. And it's very clear. Items, um, drop and, drag and drop items to reorder them in the course navigation. Anything here and below is invisible. Again, you will see some of these with those gray eyeballs like pages. So what you need to know about this page is that unlike other areas in Canvas, when you go to your navigation menu, again found under settings, and settings is always available, you can't disable that because you need to be able to work with these um, items. By the way, I have a, an additional video for you to check out on just the course details menu that goes into all of these features that you might also wanna look at because I'm not covering these features, I'm just doing our navigation menu, which is fairly significant for Canvas, so I do wanna cover it. So the one thing you have to know about this page is unlike other areas of content in Canvas, you need to always save at the bottom. If I make some changes, if I move my pages back up here and then I go back to my home page, watch what happens. Pages is still hidden and thus not in the menu. So what I need to do is go back to my settings menu, click on navigation and do it correctly and say, I want pages to appear here. Hit save and now the eyeball disappears and it appears in the uh, menu, sorry, right here. It's always hard for me to find those. So actually, as I've recommended in these videos, I would recommend you not have pages appearing. So I would move it back down there and hit save. Now, if you're wondering, what are all these things here? Big, big blue button, collaborations, rubrics. Some of these are Canvas native. Others of these are set up by the Canvas administrator. Previously, that was Trevor Thomas. And so in some cases, you know, maybe you want access to McGraw-Hill Connect. If you're not using a McGraw-Hill uh, product, it makes zero sense having that appear here. 3C Media, if you're not using that for hosting videos, put it down here. Labster, if you're teaching English, I don't think it would make a lot of sense to have Labster up here. So really, I recommend pulling out as many of these as possible. The best thing kind of with Occam's razor with simplicity is to say we should have simplicity in terms of our navigation menu. Um, it's, it's kind of one of the, the principles of uh, software design. It's one of the principles of interface design with electronics and home products. We don't want a lot of crazy menu diving. We want things to display um, almost like in a what you see, what you get kind of sense so that we can easily navigate what we're working with. So I recommend pulling out, in fact, I'm going to pull out some of these. Um, if I'm not using Cranium Cafe, maybe I'll pull that out. And I might say, well, I want my students to interact with the counselors, but they know how to do that through the ltcc.edu menu. If the class is not being evaluated that quarter, I'll probably pull out evaluation kit. Um, again, it just depends. Like, I don't know, do I need to have a uh, chat in there if I'm not doing chat? If I don't want it, drag it to the bottom. Once I've done that, I hit the save button 
just to remind you of that. And then the new version appears. At any time, if you wanna test that, click on the home page and you'll see the most current version of your navigation menu after you've made those changes, again, under the navigation tab. Now, the other thing to point out is these are very easy to navigate. You can drag and drop. So if I want my syllabus at the bottom, all I do is put it there or there. Again, have to hit save. Uh, once I do that, you'll see the syllabus is now at the bottom of my screen or near the bottom. Again, these are hidden, so it may not be the case that it's the bottom of your menu, but if you go again to student view, you will um, be able to see that and verify the fact that, uh, that these are all invisible and thus that probably will be at the bottom in terms of student view. I don't want it at the bottom really. I want it probably at the top under home. Uh, Canvas will not let you overwrite home because home is always taking you home. Um, so you can move other things below it, but that is always the topmost item in your menu. Once I'm happy with that, I can hit save and then I would be good to go in terms of my menu being recreated here with a new order. That is really it in terms of the navigation menu. So easy to work with. Again, don't clutter this with a lot of tabs and information. If you don't need the Canvas student guide, pull it out of there remove it, hit save, um, and then it's gone. Again, it's your own judgment. Maybe you decide, well, I do want my students to have access to Canvas Student Guide because they might be new. That's great. Go back and repopulate it in your menu and it's ready to go. So the navigation menu is really easy to use. It's important to use. And I think if you go for simplicity is best, you'll discover that your students have the greatest opportunity to easily navigate their Canvas class. The second recommendation as we close is to say, be deliberate about where the items go in the menus such that you're able to really emphasize certain points that you want to emphasize or certain features that you think are really key to your class. If you're science faculty and you do want Lapster enabled and you put it maybe at the top because you really want your students in a virtual class to participate in Lapster, that might make a lot of sense for you. So be deliberate about the menu items and also focus on simplicity in terms of which items are displayed in your Canvas navigation menu. That'll be it today here in the TNL tips focused specifically on the course navigation menu. I wish you a good success in your Canvas class and as always reach out if you have questions about this or any other matter related to Canvas. I'll be back with additional videos in the series shortly.